All right, guys. So uh, a lot of you were asking for um, just how uh, for a template, an Excel template for how I keep all these statistics, and um, I'm also going to release with it just uh, how I go through the process so that you guys can see kind of what I'm you know doing in between every game. So this is the the, the Excel spreadsheet. I actually put the link on the the Reddit thread. And I'll put a link at the bottom. Of this video when I post it um, so you guys can have it for download but really you can I mean you can track these these stats any way you want and um, everything is customizable really to what you want to keep track of I'm a mid main so a lot of this stuff is geared toward specifically mid like the roaming stats and all that so I'm just gonna real quick go through each category and how I keep track of it and exactly what I do and I'll, I'll, I'll put some samples in. like this is blank for now so the date is pretty simple so you know Today's the 4th of July, so that's the day, day of the week is a Thursday. I just use TH. Time of day, I use military time because it gets too, uh, it, putting the PM and AM, it, it gets too confusing, so I just use military time. So it, right now it is 14.55. Um, match time is the length of a match. So say we just played a match, it's 31.35, right? Pick number is where I pick. So I was fourth pick. The result is just win or loss. So we'll say I won. This is it's hard to see these because I I shrunk them down. But this is team kills, teams assist, or team deaths and team assists. So we'll say uh, I don't know. Normal game looks like thirty, twenty, and you know, seventy. LP gained or lost, right? So I would say, okay, I won this game. I won, you know, 15 LP league points. Uh, this is my league point rating after adding that 15. So let's say I'm, I don't know, like 47. Right. The league is plat 5, just for the sake of argument. Uh, the, the promo question mark is whether or not it was a promotion series. We'll say it was not a promotion series. This helps me keep track of um, when it was a promotion series or wasn't. The champion I played, we'll say like Ari. My CS, like 180 or whatever. Uh, kills, 5, 2, 7. Kill, death, assist. That's like typical. Gold earns, um, I, I write this as like, in I write this in thousands. So we'll say like I earn 12.5K. Or 12, it'll be 12.5, but that means 12.5K. So what you're going to do from there to calculate your gold per minute is you're going to bring your calculator up. And say, okay, we had a 12.5k, or no, we had a we had, we had a 12 and a half, or we had a 12.5k, so it's 12 12,500, and we're gonna divide it by you know the time. But you gotta remember to divide the time by a fraction. So in this case, it's 31. Point like five five or whatever it is. I'm not gonna go ahead and do like all of it right now, but yeah, like so you'd get like 396.1 or 0 0.2 if you round up. Versus Summoner would be like, okay, I was against, like, YOLO Swag 420. Alright, that was my guy, and he played Lux. And his CS was, we'll say his CS was, like, 160. The win lane category, I explained this a little bit um, back when I started tracking this, but the win lane category is scaled on, a, it, it's, it's put on a scale of negative 2 to 2. It's a grading, it's, it's a sliding scale from negative 2 to 2. Negative 2 is... Uh, I lost really bad. Negative two is I lost. Zero is it was even. Negative or positive one is I won. Negative or positive two is I I you know really won. I have a whole blog post um, about these combat statistics like win lane out, outside lane influence roaming, and I have the actual rubrics for them if you check if you head on over to the blog and check those out. But generally speaking, they're they're all scaled on a negative two to two. So we'll say okay, I I won lane this game. I had a positive one. This is outside lane influence against. Uh, we'll say that their jungler, um, you know, came, but uh, I got a double kill, and it was because my jungler was there, and you know he came and ganked for me a couple times. Like maybe I had Maokai or something. Um, roaming. Uh, this is this is like purely for top lane and mid lane. I do not track this for support and AD carry because typically they stay put. Um, but the roaming grade, I do, um, you know, maybe on Ari, I probably roamed a lot. So we'll say I had a I had a one, 
and that means that doesn't just mean that I did well. It means that I out roamed the Lux. So that the sliding grade is all determined by, um, you know, it's everything's uh, relative. So if if me and Lux both roamed like twice and both got two kills out of it, then this would be a zero. But this would be like, okay, I roamed twice and got two kills, and she roamed once and got one kill, so I got the head up on her. Now, if I roamed like two or three times and got like a bunch of kills out of it, and she just stood, stayed in lane and did nothing, I would say it's a two, a two. But you only give twos when you like really win. Uh, first game, this tracks whether it's the first game of the session. Yeah, we'll say it was the first game of the session. Last game of the session, we'll say, yeah, it was a one-game session, just for the sake of this. Uh, first Blood 4. Uh, no, I did not get First Blood this game. So what I do in this category is I leave it blank. I only put a yes if it was the first game of the... Uh, like the, I use I just use Y and N for these. So I, I if it was, you can use an X or a circle, whatever you want to do. But, okay, if, if I didn't get First Blood, I don't mark it. It's just easier for me to visualize and see. So um, I will only mark this if I got a first blood. Like for the sake of argument, we'll say I gave up first blood, which is this category, first blood against. Right. Damage percent. Um, the damage percent is the amount of damage done to champions. So um, it's it's the percent of your team's damage done to champions. So you're gonna go on your post screen log, like your post game log, or like the post screen stat screen. You're gonna go up to grid. And the grid is going to tell you, okay, you did 26,500 damage out of your team's, like, 80,000 damage, right? Okay, but it's this is specifically damage done to champions. It's not damage done. This is damage done to champions. So you that would come out to, what, 33.125. So we say 33.1. Okay, so you did 33.1 percent of the of the cha uh, of damage to champions okay contribution rating okay this is um i also have uh, in that same blog post about the combat grades i explain contribution rating but more or less what it is is your positive contribution rating which is this is your kills and deaths added together so uh in this case it would be five plus eight is thirteen divided by your team's kills and de uh, kills and assists added together which comes out to be 100, which is easy. It's 13%. So I had a 13% positive contribution to my team. Let's take a look at the negative. Okay, I died twice. The negative contribution is just your deaths, okay? So it's my two deaths divided by my team's 20 deaths, which gives you a 10%, right? Uh, and then the contribution total, which is the equal sign here, is just subtracting these two numbers. So 13 minus 10. So you had a positive three. Uh, you had a positive three percent contribution to your team. The music I'm listening to, we'll, we'll say the intro music, which was, um, you know, the glitch mob. All right. Duo. Um, this is duo question mark. It's just another yes or no category. We'll say I was no. Um, no, you know, I'll say yes, just for the sake of filling this out. Uh, partner, you know, 720 no scope will be our partner, right? Our partner played top lane, and he played rumble, and his pick number was five. Okay, so a lot of this ends up being blank a lot of the time. I'll just say N or, or, or yes for duo Q partner. Um, typically on my sheet, I, this is for whatever reason on this category, I do write yes or no every time, but I don't know. Uh, the notes category is specifically for um, any notes you want to say about the game. Like, say maybe, okay, uh, our AD carry disconnected, or um, I was lagging heavily. Or you can say, like, just general things that happened during the game. Like, uh, I got a big lead early in lane phase and pressured around the map a lot more than she did. Or like maybe like lessons you want to learn like okay uh, maybe um, make sure to to always come back with two wards. Yeah, like like so I I pretty much just keep the note category to like just like just additional notes that you want to keep track of and I'll, I'll go back and like you know consider that in the analysis and everything like that so. That's uh, pretty much how I do things, guys. 
So um, thanks for watching. Subscribe on YouTube. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Gelati LOL. Uh, the blog where all this information is posted, uh, I post the raw data and I post more detailed explanations of the combat grades. So um, the win lane category, outside influence for and against and roaming, as well as the contribution grades. Um, all of those are posted on, um, I have a couple blog posts at uh, gelatilol.blogspot.com. Um, follow me on YouTube, uh, on this channel, and you guys can add me in game. On, uh, I am mid space gelati, so you can add me in game if you have questions. Uh, check the Reddit post out, all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in game.